Hello there, I'm Tiger Smock, and this is episode 17 of my Hogwarts Legacy playthrough as a Gryffindor student on hard mode. Last time we rescued Roland Oaks, and now we are on our way to have a chat with Sebastian, and we're going to go and visit his family. Um, before that, though, I think we should probably go and sell our stuff. Maybe get some loot as well. Yeah, let's get a loot. What? What do you mean? Am I intruder? I'm not intruding anyway. Is that the chicken? Is the chicken saying I'm an intruder? Oh shit, no, there's people there. I got so distracted. Oh, loyalists, I see. <laughs> I don't know, you could just like still stay stealthy and do that. Is there anything else I can throw at you? Oh, 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 absolutely. Here, as usual. <laughs> yeah. It, things normally just fly out of nowhere and hit me. Oh no. Okay. That didn't work. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, okay, that's not working anymore. That was funny. If only I could get my hands on Fig or that student. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's just have a look here. We've got a mandrake. That's pretty much it. Whoa. Whoop. Okay, we're fine. A waste of my talents. Ankles of steel. What if I just... Afraid to fight! Okay, apparently they know I'm here. Arrest them on Well, stealth is actually quite powerful. Renrock suspects there is more of it in Fiddlecraft. Do not just return until you find it. Renrock demands an update. Have you found it? Report back immediately. Balloons. Maybe they're after the balloons. It must be the balloons. What else could it possibly be? Let's just go and get these balloons before they find them. Oh shit, they're already here. Get them before they figure out how to fly. Quick. Perfect. Got them before they did. Hi. Oop. What the hell sounds are you making? Hi. Right. You want to come back up here? How's it going? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed forward instead of back. There we go. No. Oop. Okay, I'm trying to get the... There we go. You've won less follower, Ranrock. I'm just trying to get some practice in again. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome, I'm Bernard Indiaye, and this is my shop. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm curious to know what's happening in Feldcroft. Might you have any insight? An incredibly unpleasant goblin called Belgroft the Bludgeoner has been tormenting everyone he encounters. Feldcroft borders goblin country, but we've always lived in peace with their kind. Until recently, that is. Some claim that Belgroth and his associates are in league with Ranrock. I don't know if there's truth to it. Whatever the case, their constant meddling is devastating business. Everyone feels unsafe. It's quite serious. What do you sell here? 
Glad you asked. I sell the finest array of beast byproducts you'll find in the entire countryside. If you don't believe me, feel free to look about. Eventually you'll return. They always do. What brought you to own a shop in Feldcroft? Beautiful place, isn't it? Although I admit I didn't choose it, it chose me. I was raised here. It's always been my home. As for the shop, I suppose my line of work chose me as well. I've always loved working with beasts, and my twin girls adore them. Wouldn't be surprised if they took over from me one day. What do you have for sale? Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Well, yes, you have. I guess we'll just wait around. You made it. Yep. It's more like you made it. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Aha! <gasps> Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything! There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it! <laughs> now look what you've done! <laughs> I'm sorry! The curse of IBS. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. Sorry, I don't know why I was following him. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you alright, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. 
Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Difficult decision. I wish you well. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Oh, shit. Dead <laughs> Oh, I will kill. I'll be quite close to a breakthrough. Just gonna flank around here because they won't be expecting me coming this way, I think. Hello? What was that? I won't rest until I rest. Whoa. Oh no. Protego. I was right not to be worried about you. Oh, yeah. Okay, I need to launch an enemy an object. At an enemy with the ball, so okay, I need to launch an object at him. Whoop. Okay, hold on. Oh, that didn't work. Whoop. Ooh. And how do I. Oh no. I want to. Now, how do I. From here, like so, like that didn't work. 
Okay, how about Arrest the limit. You've mm. made your last mistake. Okay, well there's more to do. Nice. Like, let's try that again. Oh. Where are we? Such arrogance. Arrest him. Good for you. Let's get this over with. Arrest him. Why can't I hit Oh. I won't rest. Oh, come on. I may have gotten a little bit annoyed with him. Arrest the momentum. Descend Let me I won't rest. Oh. Ow. Potato. Get a captain. Love you, sir. You can't stop us. Arrest the event. Need a ball, sir. Glacius. Love you, sir. Descend it. White. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Repair all. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here. And it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem Rebellion. to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumour was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Doesn't look like it. Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Wait, what? Okay. This well looks familiar. Hmm. Wait, 
It does look familiar. It was in the middle of... Oh, interesting. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you... I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Hmm. Only one way to find out. Oh, I wonder what spell I need to use. I wonder if the pulsar will work. The pulsar! Wow. Ooh, you can't go through here yet. We have to let you go through at a very specific time. Huh, a stairwell. Oops. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. It tells me they're after something bigger. It is my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own help healers doing all they, that they can for them. Hold my word. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A uh, fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw, I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred for relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems an, as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. Hmm. A journal entry of Isadora's. I oh. should hold on to this. I'm going to have to. Read seven of them. I travelled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope, will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. Uh, I could... Further my research, of course, but that would be fortuitous a consequence of doing something good with his uh, with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. And it's very convenient that I'm busy reading them in order. Ah, do I just... Depulsa! Lumos. Guess I do. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Hmm. Interesting. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic. 
What does that even mean? I'm not entirely sure, but the Keepers have said that it's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. And you can wield it? I don't know, but Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. It's interesting how the brick wall also has a mirror um, frame. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Hmm. Anything helpful in the note? Nope. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. And with that, I think we'll call it an episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Here's a video from the algorithm, and here's the entire series in playlist form. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Revelio.